What's going on, Toxic Gamers? And just like that, we are back. Yes, some people are saying we are so back, guys. We're so back. And I guess we are back because this is what's happening under God's hot sun, guys. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Like the video if you do not cheat at video games. I want to know where you guys are at with this one. But apparently, the situation is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, okay? Suckers are now pre ordering hacks and cheats because I know. Some of you guys are gonna say that the game literally just came out, bro. The game, and, and you're wrong. And you're right, I mean, you're not wrong is what I'm trying wrong. to say. You're not wrong, but guys, these suckers can now pre-order hacks too. Check this out, roll it. So you can see, brother is enjoying the game. It, it's over, man. It is over. And I got another clips and then we're gonna jump right into the video too. But wait for it. Dog, let and, and this is another person video. Let's see. And Activision said that. And Activision said that this year will be different. <laughs> Yo, the game literally just came on. People are pre-ordering hacks too. Shout out to the homie Optimus. Check this roll. Take a look at. So obviously Black Ops 6 is a brand new game. Now Call of Duty and Activision Blizzard, they came out a couple days before the game came out and they said that one of their like primary focuses, I guess, for this year of Call of Duty was that they were going to crack down on the hackers, right? They were going to yeah. try to eliminate lies, the people who lies. were basically hacking in Call of Duty within like an hour or two of them jumping on the game, right? So yeah, if you lies. played really Call of Duty or any major your FPS in the last couple of years, you'll know that cheating has become quite a massive concern. I mean, people have always cheated in video games to a certain extent, yeah. but like now it's getting to the point where the people making these hacks and these cheats and whatnot, they're so fucking good at it that some of them are making not only legitimate money by running these businesses, selling these cheats and shit, but also- Oh man, the last time when I saw the data of the amount of people that actually bought the Kronos Zens, <laughs> it's in the millions. <laughs> It's in the millions and I heard that data I believe uh, you know like last year when the homie bad boy Beeman made a video So he was showing the data and I saw the data and I was like bruh or no It was not bad boy Beeman. It was uh, another I believe caps lock I believe that's who he was uh, could be mixing him with him or you know you feel what I'm saying but it's in the millions guys it's it's they're over. making them harder it's and over. harder and harder to detect and making them even more efficient over time so you yeah. can probably imagine my shock a little bit right yeah, yeah, on yeah. October 24th the day before Call of Duty actually officially released here in the US I already saw clips of people playing the game early and them literally cheating on the screen so we're gonna take a look at this video. let me show you something okay if this was to do with because Suckers are hacking, suckers are playing, and suckers are paying money! Suckers are still buying the game, right? This is why Activision is doing nothing. But if these suckers were hacking the microtransactions, getting the skins, I wish I could say psych right now. I really wish I could say psych right now. But if these suckers were, you know, perhaps getting the friendly... If they were hacking and perhaps getting the friendly BBC Online skins for free instead of paying, oh man, Activision would be furious. They would be taking crap down. They would be taking videos down. They would be taking their entire game down down just so they could fix that issue first so you are continuously buying the bbc bundles the uh, you know the 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 the, the bundles the, the the 20 skins the 30 skins because that's what they that's what these suckers care about truly but wait for it video here real quick before we get too far into it i want to point out that this video you're taking a look at here is in a private match from my understanding right so this is not somebody in a public match like actually ruining the game yet i think it's more okay. like a proof of concept that cheats already work in the game but here you go <laughs> But see, the entirety of Black Ops 6 is online. Yeah, so there is no offline play in this one. So if it's workable here, it's workable in the online too, guys. So basically, the clip shows this guy with an LMG. Obviously, you see the boxes on the screen outlining the enemies through the wall and through the terrain and whatnot. And every time that he basically ADSs or shoots his gun or whatever, the gun locks onto the targets for him. It's basically an automatic headshot, free kill, whatever you want to call it, right? Now, obviously, this has been a problem in Call of Duty for years now. I've talked about it in yeah, previous videos years. and all this other shit, but this is pretty fucking insane. So I want to point out, too, this video was posted to Twitter October 24th. 2024 at 8:30 p.m. So this is about three and a half hours before the game wow. came out in my region, right? And there were already people posting themselves in private match, fucking aimbotting and hacking, right? So you might be like, oh, but Optimus, this isn't a private match, bro. This can't be the real game. But unfortunately, that is exactly how this works. This is the real game. So if you can basically like hack and aimbot or whatever in a private match, you can do you the can same do thing online. in multiplayer. I mean, it's all part yeah. of the same fucking game. Yeah, yeah, you can do it online as well because it, there is no offline play. You need to be 
internet connected 24 7 with uh, with black ops 6 <laughs> guys listen i'm not talking about black ops 6 being a good game or a bad game here i personally am enjoying the game right now i'm enjoying the game you guys gotta turn off crossplay to be fair though like this is uh mostly on the pc um it's sad though like i yeah man it's sad for the pc homies man it's sad for the pc homies that are not cheating they have to always uh like you know what i'm saying and whenever somebody said turn off crossplay they're probably like hey man like i want good connection i want i don't want to be <laughs> experimented on with the skill based matchmaking algorithm because yes the it's gonna be tough right it's gonna be tough for the pc master race right they're they're being experimented on live with skill based matchmaking by activision and these suckers are ruining their their waters their their air and all that right they're ruining everything they're ruining uh, everything right uh, metaphorically speaking when i say they're ruining their waters and the sky i mean to say like hey they're ruining their game with these cheats these cheaters are ruining their games right so that's the metaphor for that but wait for it mode it's all part of the multiplayer functionality right so you've already accessed yeah. the servers and whatnot you've already logged into your activision account or whatever that part has already been done and you can still basically do this shit there so i would assume this pretty much automatically carries over to multiplayer right mm -hmm. i mean the game mm -hmm. wasn't even really officially released yet Crazy, worldwide you bro. know i mean there were still several different regions that had yet to get the game and by that point people were literally already fucking cheating in the game so i mean obvious activision said that they're gonna take an hour and ban everybody my guy was cheating. He's not literally my guy. It's just a way of me saying it, okay? Bruh. I had a comment the other day that said that, hey, so is he like really your guy? I just say homie and my guy a lot, okay? Bruh. I know, brash on my part. But the guy that was cheating, he was cheating three hours before the game even came out, guys. Let that sink in. Obviously, whatever Activision did, or like the massive changes that they were trying to flex to their fucking anti-cheat and whatnot, apparently that shit just straight up did not work. Because, I mean, like yeah. I said, if the game isn't even out yet, that, that's the crazy part, you know? I've seen clips of Call of Duty cheaters like the days after the game comes out or like the weeks after, but when the game isn't even officially out Bro. worldwide yet and people are already showing themselves on social media fucking cheating on your game, Dead that's ass. when you know that there's a Dead real ass. problem, right? Like there's an actual mm. issue. So, obviously, you know, all of the shit that Call of Duty and Activision Blizzard did to try and, I guess, stamp out all these cheaters an hour into playing the game or whatever, I mean, it really doesn't seem like it's working already now outside of this clip there are already people who are like oh yeah in the match that i played or whatever at midnight i ran into people hacking too now a lot of these people obviously don't they don't uh, full disclosure so far i and, and i'm glad i have not ran into cheaters okay there was one lobby in which i was suspect but it's not conclusive so i cannot definitively say whether the guy was hacking or not but the guy was quite fast maybe he was like adderall eating g fuel drinking uh, ttv guy some maybe he had ethernet plugged in their console Bruh. oh my bad i also have ethernet uh cable as well as well but ethernet cable is like a good thing right you get better connection with that so that's not an issue Bruh. but but you you feel what i'm saying right maybe he had like overclock keyboard installed maybe he had a chronos maybe a zen or whatever is out nowadays there's like dma cheats as well but those are mostly for the pc right sick has got all these kind of things man look at that bro like i just want to cry looking at this thing bro like damn man what the hell is this what the bumbleclad is this aimbot it says max aimbot range controller support aim button aim key override key bind so you can have like you, you know like those uh those hot keys suck has got like foot pedals as well that was a massive thing still is they can click with their foot like tattoo, 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 and it activates and they can then aimbot in the game they just gotta like put their foot on the pedal like they were on a car in a car right P pressing their accelerator but it's not what they're doing these suckers are activating cheats in the game guys these suckers are activating cheats man so you got all these different kind of uh exploits radar semi-human humanized uh silent aim so the technology has advanced so much that now these suckers can have aimbot on but it's not like a full blown aimbot it's gonna be aimbot but it's like there are different degrees to it like i guess uh, to explain it very very easily here is that there are levels to it right let's just say from one to ten how strong of an aimbot you want do you want like level one do you want level two do you want level ten though and you know these seconds they want level ten but they be thinking though they're getting smarter out here they're like if we do level ten the activation their detection their um what's that what's that second name what's that second name ricochet right ricochet uh ricochet as nero cinema would say the ricochet would detect them and then they would instantly get banned so these seconds are getting smarter so they they are learning it and they're not doing 10 
levels of it. They make sure that there's like a semi-human, a humanized version of it where they do not get detected. It is crazy, man. It is insane. Aim type you want. What type of aim you want, bruh? Aim location. Aim FOV. I mean... Bruh. Bruh. Let's get back to the content here, boo boo. Also, if you guys got uh, Instagram, uh, I would definitely love to have you there. Uh, shout out to all these homies for following over on the Instagram. Links are always in the pinned comment. I would definitely love to have you there. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo boo. Don't provide any video clips, they don't provide any evidence, so it's kind of hard to take them at face value. But at the same time, I mean, this is a pretty known problem in COD, right? Like, the issue with this whole debate is that so many people are so differently good at the game, right? Like, some people are just dog shit at COD, right? They're just garbage, you know? They, if they're in even a decent lobby, they'll average like four and 32, right? Like, they're just terrible. Now, to people like that, they probably think like fucking everybody's cheating, you know? Like, you fucking free aim a hallway, and they're like, wow, how did he know I was coming there? Shit like that, right? But I mean, this is just blatant, you know? I mean, he's like, he's aiming through walls, has boxes and circles and shit all over the screen, auto snapping on heads. This is very obvious. This is very blatant you know what i mean but then again like i said some people are like oh bro i already ran into cheaters if you have video evidence of it that would be way better i don't know there we go another one. <laughs> video evidence here we go bumbo god that's insane man seconds be already juicing in the all right so there. you just took a look at another clip i just also found on twitter now this is a different person filming i think this is the same map and like it's also a private match bot lobby or whatever right but this is yeah. another account that is doing the same thing right so we now have footage of two different people who have proved that if you go into private match with mods or hacks or whatever right apparently the game is not detecting it or something now i don't know if this is an issue with like how the ricochet anti-cheat really works or whatever i really don't know you know like it could be a couple different things but i don't know if it only checks for cheats if you're loading into multiplayer lobbies if that's the case that's yeah. pretty fucking stupid right because I mean, to be fair though, maybe that that's a good argument. That's a good point that maybe that's what's gonna happen here, right? Maybe that's what it is. But I honestly though, honestly, I the amount of people that we saw cheating, the amount of people, the amount of streamers that have been cheating in the game. I don't know whether that's true or not, man. Uh, listen, Activision says one thing and they do the <laughs> something completely different. They do something completely different. So I got trust issues with Activision right now. But thankfully, my experience is good. But of course, the world does not revolve around me nor you, right? It's about all of us, right? It's about everybody. And somewhere, some, somewhere, people are having a terrible experience playing Call of Duty, man. You know, somewhere, people, <laughs> people are having terrible experiences. It, it, it's, it's crazy, bro. Because even though it'd be kind of counterintuitive, like, then couldn't people cheat in zombies or, like, couldn't people cheat in private matches or land tournaments or whatever it may be? Like, shit that doesn't take place on the actual, like, matchmaking. I don't know how the whole thing is set up. I don't work it out. Cheat in zombies. What the hell? Why do you want to cheat in zombies? Now, I get it. Like, hey, 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 pump the brakes, right? There are glitches where people are XP farming. Those are glitches. I'm not counting those as cheats, okay? Those are not, that's not cheating. There are suckers like trying to XP grind. They're glitching in the game. They're not installing a program or anything. They're like grinding camels or glitching camels, brother. Yeah, I would not say that's cheating, right? But if you're installing a program or you're buying hacks and that crap, of course, then you're cheating, which is separate, right? Glitching is different. Uh, yeah, right. But of course, glitching can still ruin people's experience in terms of, hey, if they're glitching on an online map, you know, going under the map, Yes, then maybe it can get into the cheating aspect, but still, it's a glitch. It's a glitch, kind of, right? I, I want to know your thoughts on that one. That's like, I I'm 50-50 on that one. But if you're just XP farming in zombies, you're just glitching maybe in a wall in zombies, in zombies, in zombies, right? Not in multiplayer. Then I wouldn't say that's cheating, though. But everybody's... Activision uh, Blizzard, all I know is... But everybody's different. Let me know your thoughts. Is, for you know, sure. we heard all these fucking reports and whatnot about how, oh, in Call of Duty this year, we're cracking down, bro. You know, all, all these people fucking yeah. cheating, all these people hacking in Bruh. the game. We're doing something about it this year. Well, apparently not. I mean, honestly, this is one of the worst times I've ever seen it. Like, at least in previous Call of Duty games, you could play the midnight release and there wasn't a worry that people were literally hacking and cheating and breaking the game out of the gate, right? I mean, fuck it. Now, to be fair, though, I have not encountered cheaters. I, I want to know your experience. Like, have you guys encountered cheaters playing Black Ops 6 or not? I'm assuming most of you did not, or maybe you did, but it's like you don't know 100% because yes, like I said earlier, there was only one game where I suspected, but it could be just like a like a dork, right? Like a like a guy that was like a super like into that was in his monitor playing the game, right? Yeah, he was uh, or maybe he was actually really good. Maybe that yeah. So it's very very hard to say. Uh, but knowing how many people have been caught cheating and knowing how many people uh, are cheating. I'm not shocked at looking at what's going on right now. Not even out of the gate. Before the gates have even opened, people are fucking cheating, right? Like, it just, it, it really doesn't make sense on the grand scheme of things, you know? Like, these, this is a game, too, by the way, that took, like, three plus years, I'm pretty sure, for Treyarch to develop. Oh, yeah, four years, four years. Uh, four years and 4,000 devs. 4,000 devs and four years. 
Uh, 4,000 devs is just a joke, though, but four years, that's true. 3,000 devs is, uh, I mean, how many devs actually work? 3,000 devs, I wish I could say psych, but 3,000 devs actually created the, the Modern Warfare 2022, and that game is what gave us the BBC bundles and all that, right? So, yeah, Modern Warfare 2022 was the first game to introduce a friendly BBC Online and all that, or friendly BBC Online! You know what I'm saying? That was the first game to, you know, develop that kind of technology, right? These seconds is crazy, I swear to God, man. Okay. I think this is the first COD in multiple years that got a full three-year cycle for development. And Activision Blizzard is like this massive company. This is a franchise that makes billions every single year. It's yep. a $70 AAA video game. And still, even then, with all the money that it makes, all the resources that it has at its disposal, they still cannot find a way to stop people from fucking cheating. Now, obviously- And, and here's the thing. They, they will never, they never would be able to because the cheaters are always two steps ahead right yeah so sadly i think this is uh this is one of those problems that is unsolvable i love i would love to be and i'm normally very optimistic in life but uh this is one of those things where i guess it's about who is more optimistic and this time the cheaters are more optimistic <laughs> i think the cheat manufacturers are more optimistic than activision it's all the game of being who's the most optimistic okay you feel what i'm saying it's about who is the most optimistic activision or or cheat manufacturers or cheaters activision is optimistic about making the money all right Bruh. but they're not optimistic about solving the cheating problem so it's it, it comes down to, to that man the vast majority of people cheating, especially in manners like this, where they've got boxes on the screen and they're auto headlocking and shit like that, the majority yeah, yeah. of that is happening on PC. Like so this. if you're playing on like your PlayStation or your Xbox and you just turn off crossplay, that will probably solve a lot of the issue. Because yep, when you know absolutely. cross platform gaming became way more popular, especially in, like absolutely crossplay is a very good thing, but it's like in this day and age, nah, bruh, you want to stay far away from it, bruh. Uh, I, I also want them to have the crossplay as this. We can turn it on, turn it on, uh, turn it on and off. But there needs to be a crossplay between consoles only as well. Consoles only, of course, you got Series S, Series X, PS5, and PS5 Pro as well. That's coming out, you know what I'm saying? Who asked for the PS5 Pro? Who asked for the... <laughs> okay, that's not... This is not that video, man, but... Uh... Like Call of Duty, when they started introducing it to where you could play with your friends on PlayStation from PC or Xbox from PC, whatever, right? That's when the cheating really got out of hand in COD. Before mm. that, right, you like Black Ops 2. That game was pretty much golden for like two years, right? And then after like its year of possibility and the cycle was gone and it became like kind of the not latest Call of Duty, then that's when people started hacking and cheating yeah. and doing all the crazy yeah, yeah. shit and ruining the game, right? But this is like a brand new fucking Call of Duty game where this shit is happening. Yeah, I remember like the, uh, if you go back on the original 2009 Modern Warfare, tw uh, Modern Warfare 2 on the PS3 or 360. Yeah, that game is like completely hacked. But I remember the last time when I played. Yeah, the hacks. Yes, I'm not. I'm not denying this. Some suckers would be using aimbot and ruining experience. But I remember like people would be just like deranking you or prestiging you to the max. Right. I remember ended up. I remember getting prestige master or 10 prestige in Modern Warfare 2, and then the next game somebody deranked me uh, completely. So those were like big things and then you obviously got like aimbot and god mode but that was kind of like it though right and, and yeah after a year or two years after three years once the cycle is over then activision don't give a damn about it then cheaters take over and especially a game like black ops 2 that was on playstation 3 xbox 360 and pc of course that game was gonna be crazy hacked hacked right uh, and uh but i'm not sure about like other games like advanced warfare black ops 3 i believe black ops 3 on the pc had problems i heard that the last i heard not sure about right now uh, i'm not sure about black ops 3 multiplayer especially on console in terms of like ps4 and uh xbox one it probably is gonna be hacked but it's hard to say it, it is hard to say why because i don't i haven't gone back uh to it the last time when i went back to black ops 3 i just played zombies not online and not only that, it's a brand new Call of Duty game where like even the devs and the publisher were like flexing what they were about to do. The absolute shit they were going to take on the hackers. And now the hackers are literally just laughing in their fucking face like, oh yeah, you guys are going to, you're going to ban us within an hour of us playing. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at this shit day zero, bro. Like, day zero, like three hours before launch, bro. I mean, I don't know. Like if I was a developer or whatever at Treyarch, a video like this might make my fucking head explode. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is obviously like, you know, Activision said that they were going to handle this or whatever, but they've said this in previous years too. So like when they say shit like that, it's already hard to take them serious because very, very rarely does a company 
company like Activision Blizzard actually follow through on their promises to handle something, yeah, but like, yeah, you would yeah, think yeah. this would be one they really were going to handle. Now, people are obviously like, oh, well, the people doing this shit, they're going to get their account banned and whatnot, but the problem is, is that the game comes with Game Pass, and, you know, you can get keys to activate it or whatever for cheaper online yeah. after release, and it's not necessarily hard to make a new Activision account. There's just so I, I believe there was a $1 Game Pass option, but they removed it right before Black Ops 6 came out, and a lot of people were pissed about it. Some people were very happy about it because, well, yeah, people wanted to try out the game for for a dollar right for a dollar understandably man i wish that option was there man because but we don't know why they did it two reasons a to solve the cheating problem which is not true they they don't care about it let's be real as long as they're making the money the i think the main reason they got rid of it is because they knew a lot of people would sign up for a month for a dollar and then they would peace out so instead of that let's keep game pass full price so even if people are gonna like cancel their subscription a month after, at least they're gonna pay us the full price for the Game Pass for a month, right? And not just a buck, not just one dollar. Makes sense though, makes sense when you're Activision and Microsoft, I'm not even criticizing them. This is just an observation and, and just reporting the news, right? I'm not even mad at them for doing it. But, uh, and a lot of people were also like, okay, thank God they're not doing the one dollar Game Pass because that's gonna uh, add more cheaters to the game because people are just gonna make new emails, new accounts, just put in a dollar they have access it uh, access for a month and then they can cheat over and over and there's literally no fear of getting banned like if you get banned hey who cares right make another email a, a dollar spend one dollar and that's it you can cheat once again but i think they got rid of it right now uh, that's what i heard that's what i heard correct me if i'm wrong but guys check out this video on the screen the nine kitty player nadia she is back we had so many cheaters getting caught streaming in this one so many streamers getting caught cheating Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. And Nadia the 9kd player was in that video too, so check it out. Man.